Oh, yeah. I just did that. All right, so round three, we're cooking with Virginia. You guys are probably going to be mad at me because I didn't wait to make it, but I had to let my batter sit for a little while. So I'm going to explain to you what we're doing. I'm definitely not French. I took a half or I took a full semester in high school of French and I don't remember really anything of it. So today we are making crepes and the reason why I bring up being French or speaking French is because crepes are known in France or you can buy really crappy ones from your general store or grocery store like we did for yesterday and they were absolutely disgusting. So I have to regain the boys' trust and I have to make homemade ones. So in bowl one, which is right here, this is the crepe batter. All I used was this mix right here. And yes, that does say gluten-free. We eat gluten-free pancake waffle mix because I have a very sensitive stomach and they just taste a lot better to me. And then we have strawberries. I added some sugar to pull out the sweetness in them, so hopefully they're not overly sweetened because they have been sitting here quite a while with, with it on them. So my fingers are crossed that they're not going to be ruined. This for on top, and this to go inside with this. Oh. All right, let me get my pan out, and I will get things started, and I'll show you in just a second. Batman's decided he wanted to help me. That's Sean's awesome Batman cup. So step one is to melt butter. I really don't know anything, like I don't know if oil will work or if Pam would work. I just automatically went with butter just because it's pancake mix. So butter and pancake mix. I know it kind of defeats the purpose of using gluten free, but this type of butter doesn't hurt my stomach. So. It really sucks having a sensitive stomach because you really have to watch like what you eat. So this is step number one. This has got to get hot enough to where this stuff won't stick to it because if it sticks to it then they're not going to be any good and they'll burn and then we'll just have to throw it away which is a complete waste of time and of product. All right, so I've already put in some of the mix. I'm just gonna put a little bit more in there and kind of like swoop it around in a way because we don't want it nearly as fluffy as a pancake. We want it wider. So then we have enough room to put those delicious strawberries and mix in. This that I'm making right here is going to be enough to make two for each of us. So it'll make six total, should be anyways, because it's the same amount that I made the other night when I made these. This is what it's gonna look like when it gets done cooking. I have another one going, right here. After it gets to this stage where it's kind of like starts to bubble, I just like to slide the dough a little bit off to the side so it's a little bit wider. Because the wider the better because then you get to have more strawberries. And I love strawberries, strawberries are my absolute favorite. So then now, how can I do this while holding on to the camera? I'm gonna put those strawberries into this shell, but first I have to spread this delicious cream cheese fruit mix. Whoops, sorry, can't even see it. All along there, kind of spread it out. Do, 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 do. All right, like I said, we take these strawberries and put them into here, just so there's a little bit in there. And then we're gonna roll this. After it's like this, we're gonna roll it. All right, so I took it off of this plate, which is my preparation plate, and put it on the main plate. Again, we're just gonna put a little line of the cream on there, topped by a few more strawberries. And at this point, with this, we are going to flip it. Make sure you don't burn yourself because it's gonna be extremely hot. <laughs> Guess what? That one's kind of burnt, but that's going to be okay because that one can be mine. I don't mind things a little toasty. Anyways, put these delicious strawberries that I've had sitting in sugar forever on there, just like so. A little bit of that. 
Shaky, 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 shaky. Haha, -ha. delicious crepe dessert. Pull this out of here, put this on here. So that's our process. Whoops, but you don't normally have to drop it. It's like I just did. There's no room. Alrighty. That's a crepe dessert. It looks amazing. I'm going to go deliver this one and hopefully they will enjoy it. So here we are, standing in the road. We're going to tap the shell, make it a little pause get in there. See? We're saving him! Saving turtle mankind! Here you go, little guy. And that there is a turtle that I just saved. Saving turtle mankind, one turtle at a time.